Hi, it's Ellen Lewis and Whitney from Crazy For You. And we are starting a very exciting knit along for the Petite Knit Terrazzo Sweater. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> right? Yes, I bought the yarn today. I wasn't even planning on doing the knit along and I'm so excited. So this has not been on your radar for a long time. Is that right? I remember seeing the pattern because I loved the, I'm guessing she named it after this specific yarn because it's kind of terrazzo-esque with like different colors and pieces. Right. And it was always something that I wanted to make. But I think once I saw actually it's swatched up and the color combinations and options i was like yeah i have to do this immediately <laughs> yeah so yeah immediately but, but it, <laughs> she bought the yarn and cast yes on, i like... did i did no i get it i get mm -hmm. it it's been on my radar for a while and um i'm so i have to tell you i've been waiting and waiting for the one color that's featured in the mm -hmm. pattern right? Which you absolutely had to have. Yes. That's the one that I selected. <laughs> so it came in and we have a boatload of it. So I'm very excited about that. But honestly, I mean, yes, it's a beautiful color. It's kind of cream colored and, you know, it's got all these other mix of colors in there. So really pretty. But I mean, I think all of the Silk Garden sock yes, is- Yes, I do too. Right? Yes. Even though I, I picked this one mostly because I really just, I, I like the way that this looks however it was really hard like this is probably another one i would have selected very easily right this one so i thought what we would do is kind of run through the process that we went through to choose a kid's silk case to go with the um silk garden sock solo so i mean there are so many options i mean silk garden sock comes in like eight different colors that we have in stock and the Kids Sell Case comes in like 70 colors. So, and they all kind of work, yes, right? Yes, and that was so fun to play with. And I can't wait for you to show the color combination you're doing because I would have never imagined that it would look the way right. that it looks right. together. So. so, yeah. So the thing about it is that that Silk Garden, this, the Kids Sell Case really kind of changes the overall look of it. You know, the color that I picked, and I don't know why I picked it. I guess I just, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so it's this kind of slightly drab color. Um, it's sort of a brownish purple. And mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think it's sort of a sophisticated color. Mm -hmm. But it definitely reads maybe a little bit drab. So I'm carrying it with this color of Kids Okay's which is 718 Plum. And I'm super happy with the way that it's, it's swatching out. You know, I think it's just, you would never have thought, right? No, no, I would have never known that that was the, the um, base that you used. Right. So I guess the thing to remember is that the Kids Silk Haze doesn't override the color the base color but it really enhances whichever tone you want to bring out yes yes and i also i think another thing to call out is i think it's so easy just to go with because when when i was helping you with pairing the colors i it's so easy for me especially to just go with oh what what matches most of the colors that are here the easiest but i think here it just shows that you can go for something that is minimal in terms of it's um, content in the the garden silk or silk garden um, solo, but um, it just is so beautiful and lovely. And it just, I just think this is the coolest thing you do here. And I probably wouldn't have been that creative. <laughs> you would have, you absolutely would have. I mean, and, but it is fun. So let's kind of talk about, let's start with the one that everybody loves. Okay. So this is mm -hmm. S1. Everybody loves this color. This is the color that the sample is knit in. And, you know, I don't think she went far outside the box. She used this color and she carried it with the, the cream color, right? So creamy colored, um, kids still case. I think she used a different brand. She used, um, uh, a cigar, is it yeah, a cigar? Yeah, but they're the same thing. Um, yeah. So she carried it with a color that was like very creamy, right? But Whitney's doing, oh, I love this so much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is Bridget from um, Cowgirl Blues Yarn. She's a beautiful hand dyer in South Africa. We talked to her at H&H &H, and she had this yarn and 
look at that. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited so about beautiful. it. I'm so happy. So um, this is nice because this is actually a hand dye that has all of the colors, right? Do you think though, like, because I look at all the different colors in here and will you actually be able to see some of that variation come through with how very variegated this is? Like, will it, I be able to notice these like changes in colors when it's on a larger piece of fabric? I think you absolutely will because this has a different color gradient uh, style. So the silk guard, I, I, right? Yeah. The silk guard and sock solo has a sort of a semi striping. It's definitely a, a semi solid, but it has a subtle stripe in it. This is a variegated, so the colors work differently. Okay, I think it's going to be great. Yeah, I, I think it is too. I and I'm already, yeah. I just think I already started swatching it a little bit while I was in the store, and I think it's so pretty. It's beautiful, but you know, with this, like I think. Wait. I know. <laughs> I know. Right? Yes. You could definitely do the pink with that. I mean, I think that would be so lovely. Um, then you would get sort of, you would still see the base, but you would get this sort of overall aura mm -hmm. of pink, mm -hmm. right? I know. Or you could do even a darker pink if you wanted. Yeah, that would be lovely. Is, was that your pick? Uh, I think I did pick that one. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, I think that no would be. No wonder I like it so much. So the thing about pairing a kid silk with a base yarn, I think the rule of thumb is that it, the, the kid silk carry along always has to be at least as dark or darker than your base yarn. So that's really, really important. So if you start getting into some of these darker tones, like maybe this one or this one, you wouldn't want to carry this pale pink with it. Because what happens is you get this fine strand of the pale color and it, it just doesn't, mm -hmm. it's hard to describe. You would see the strand all throughout it. Exactly. Like and a little shiny, like. Yeah. Like it, like something feel... you want to pick off. Yeah. It, does, it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. In my humble opinion. Now, you know, everybody's different. You do you. Yeah. But um, yeah. So this is another really pretty one. This, I so I just want to give you too. the color. So um, in case you're writing it down, this is S1. And I think this would be beautiful with um, the cream color Kid Sale case or the white Kid Sale case. Or the, this is called Grace. This beautiful pink one mm -hmm. would be beautiful with it. Right? You could even go with it. That could be really fun. Right? Yeah. Right? If yeah. you like this sort of acidy green, this color of Kid Sale case, Eve green, that's really special. So with that pairing, do you think that the acid would be slightly downplayed a little bit, but then this would be like have a more, like what do you think that would look like when you actually put them together? Well, you have to, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you never know until you swatch it, right? But I sort of feel like I can see the base color coming through in this and mm -hmm. it doesn't look quite as purpley yeah. Do you see? So they tone each other down, you know, lift and lift and it's tone. It's so bring... beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> the fabric is fabulous. Yeah. So this is, this uh, sweater is knitted at a gauge of 18 stitches over four inches. I needed an, a nine to get that gauge. But we're doing this knit along for it. And that is starting the first Monday in October. And we're going to be doing it right here on YouTube. We're going to be doing it um, live. So um, if you have a question or whatever, and you're in the, you know, in the audience, you're watching, you can let me know and I can bring you up on, you know, so you can ask yeah. your question. And yeah, so I think that'd be really fun. I think so too. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. Are you going to do it? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. It's going to be Mondays at 730 for like four weeks. And then we're going to take one break. I think it's like the 15th because you've just got your body to knit and I want everybody to get through yeah. that, right? Yeah. So this is another really pretty color. This is called T1, not S1, but T1. And this has kind of a gray tone to yeah, it. Yeah, I love this one too. Did we pull it out for this? Um, I think we were talking about doing like, you could also pair it with the pinks. Yes. Um, also with the, the, oh, yes. So that would, that be, would be pretty nice. too. Yes. Yeah. That one would, so the kid silk, um, the cowgirl blues kid silk would be really nice. I feel like you could even do a blue. You could. Like, let's look at one of these. What do you think? 
Oh, that would be nice. I think that would be really nice, actually. And you could do you could do a silver with this, which I think that would be really yes. right. Yeah. So then you get a whole whole gray thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be that would be lovely. I think that's a beautiful yarn. Okay, so those are those two colors. Okay. <laughs> this one's so pretty. It is. It's this magical. They're all kind of magical, aren't they? T81. T81. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, um, I think we only have this one set of this in stock and the colors sold out everywhere. But um, it's so pretty. So it's kind of lavender, but you have lots of options here. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, I like this one with it. This is depth. This is kind of a no brainer because it's the same, same color. Mm -hmm. um, this one, oh, what's that one? This one is lavender. Oh, that's pretty. That looks nice. That works. Yeah, I feel like both of these are just like spot on with what the colors are already. And then this one I feel like would add, would, would give a little, make it a little more dynamic. Yes. So anemone is the one that would look a little more dynamic right here. I, think I feel like any of these purples, blues are going to complement it really nicely. How do you like this one with it? I think it's, I think it'd be really pretty because this color is also in it. Yes. It works. The value is the same. Yes, the value. That's a good way to put it. It's, right. Yes, it's so pretty. So when I talk about value, you know, that's like the depth of color. Like if you were to look at it with a black and white lens, you know, how saturated mm -hmm. it is. So, all right. Yeah. Which one do you like best? If it were me, I probably would end up going with this one. That's mm. definitely the safe choice. I know, because I'm, <laughs> I know I'm safe. And then I look at what you do with yours and I'm like, I shouldn't be so safe. <laughs> No, you've got a variegated. Yeah, I do. I love this. I love this combination. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, put this over there. Okay. All right, and we will grab this one. Oh, I think this one is very fun. I think it's beautiful. Right? I would actually be tempted to do... I, I don't know. I think I just love the silk garden sock. Yeah, it's a beautiful yarn. I love this color. This is like, what do you call this, teal? Yeah, I would call it a teal. There are so many options with the T. This is T3. This is beautiful. Um, this was, this part, this one was my pick. I like the color Peacock with it. Mm hmm Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, and then I think, did I pick Trance? I might have. Yes. But probably because it's, it's just a more, I tend to go towards more muted mm -hmm. colors. This one's so bright, though, you know? Yeah, no, I know. Too bright. Uh, for me, this alone scares me, but I feel like when you pair them together, it would be really nice. Yeah. I might have to swatch this because I would make yes. another one of these. And I feel like this kind of, like, jewel tone is very in right now. Is like it? Like the, the burgundy that you're doing. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's very... It's I need very Whitney in. to tell me what's in. Yes. What's trending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um greens greens all right this is kind of a this is right up there with with my color definitely drab right this is what i would call olive drab yeah right yeah and kids okay has a color called drab which i think <laughs> i know is so amazing sad, right <laughs> amazing <laughs> but i think that would be a really nice combination i think it'd be it could be really pretty right so that's pretty and then what do you think about this color green? I like it. That's T6. I think that would be really nice with the drab too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. And yes, super nice. Oh, while we're talking about my drab color. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there's okay. a couple options on this. All right. So this is my drab color that I'm using with the plum, but I actually do like it. T14. You could you could really lean into the brown on this. Yeah. Right. This is what they call a cool brown, like a cocoa. Mm -hmm. Can you wear this color? I think I would wear that. I actually, yeah, I've been starting to get into the browns. Yeah. Yes. Are I they trending? Them. Um, for me, they are. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about brown, it's cool brown. I always say this: the people who can wear cool brown, like blondes and you know summers and winters, people who tend to cooler colors never pick brown <laughs> correct <laughs> right yes, yes. so it's a it's a little bit of a hard sell but i think that's really pretty I too i think it's really nice yeah i would want to see that swatched up 
But that one, I feel this like this is it's a no just, brainer. Yes. It, like it's very clear that is going to be look beautiful. Right. So I like that, but this one, oh my I gosh, know. you guys, I know <laughs> this one, I really have to fight myself not to do this one. Mm -hmm. This again is one of the hand dyed kid silks from cowgirl blues. And this one is called private dancer. A <laughs> you know that song? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure on the age thing, you know, yes. Tina Turner. Um, <laughs> So this one is absolutely gorgeous. So you've got some of this purple and you also got this sort of brown and this earth color in mm -hmm. there. I think that would be yeah. spectacular. Yes. Right? I'm, like, I'm very tempted now. Yeah. Good thing I already bought this yarn because <laughs> that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And I just, I also love this yarn right here. So yeah, it's just very tempting. Yes. But you wouldn't have to, you know, you could do it like... All right, I love this one. This is T15. This is a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. I love this. That would work with it that too. That would be beautiful. Yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah. The reason this works, I think, so well is because it has all the colors of the different flex. Yes. Same as yours. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's an easy match. It's an easy Yeah. You know that's going to look beautiful. Right. So this one I think is really pretty with the plum. Yes right? Yes. Isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah. So jewelly. I know. Yeah. Yes. The jewels. Yes. The jewels. Okay. So I like that one. Okay. Now here's, <laughs> here's another one. This is a little on the tough side, but what yeah. do we think? This was, this was your pick. Do you... I know. <laughs> okay. So I picked something. I think it could be really fun with this apricot color I think so too I just think it could be really fun like I that yeah this is the color that I selected so to rem pair with it. remember when you're thinking about doing this that you're seeing when you're looking at the kids case okay, you're so seeing, concentrated exactly yes super concentrated it's not going to be that concentrated against your right so it doesn't read Africa it's more yeah sort of whispers do you think that this is too light to pair with us twist it and see i kind of don't i kind of don't either now i uh maybe i don't know i think possibly. this is one we'd have to swatch yes this is one we would have it's to a swatch. possible it's a and possible i'm kind of into it are you yeah is this your color i don't know i like that color a lot it um it reminds me of like a a sherbet but not like like mango sorbet. Mango sorbet. Yes. That's what that is. Yes. Yum. And I don't know. I just think that I, it would be. It could be really nice together. This one could be nice too. I know. That one I is know. crazy. This, this is, is the, the one. You, yes. This is the one you picked, and I think it's. I think it's so cool together. You like that together? One? Yeah. I think that even this one would work. The bark. Yes. Bark would work with that if you wanted to get an overall sort of darker brown tone. Mm -hmm. This one is very neutral. You know, there's another color. I don't think we pulled it. It's called Luster that would be beautiful with that. You know, that would be nice. And this even has this color in it. It does. They all, you know, they all do. They all have this acid color. Every oh, single, they right? do. Yeah. There's so many colors in this yarn. Isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful. I know. They, they really knocked it out of the park with this yarn, I think. I think so, too. Yeah beautiful. I think this is my first time buying Noro. What? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. They, I think the solo just kind of did it for me. Had you been hesitant about it? Yeah. I think like, I think the striping is really pretty, but as I've said, like I, I tend to stay safer. And so like, I look at a lot of the Nora pieces and I think they're so beautiful. I'm like, would I wear it? I don't know. And then I, I like that this one, that there are so many colors, but it's like, it's a very general um, view of all the colors. And yeah, I mean, I'm really excited about this project. I am too. To me, it kind of reminds me of an impressionist painting. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, this is the easiest of all. Oh, I know. <laughs> this it's is so pretty. Beautiful. T89. Yes. And we have a couple options for that. I mean, I think a lot of these would work. This is Heavenly 592, which I think is beautiful with mm -hmm. that. 
right? That really works for sure. Mm -hmm. And this dark, what do you think about that one? Do you like that one? Yes. Which one do you like better? I'm almost, I'm almost thinking now I would go with this one. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, when in doubt, you want to go darker. Okay. Because you really want to avoid that that strand that you see. Yeah. And you're not going to see it if the strand is a little darker. I mean, I think this one would absolutely work. I don't think it would be too light. But, you know, you could even do this trance with that. I oh, know. my gosh. That could be really pretty. Right? Yeah. That works. Yeah, I think that would be hard. I would have to decide between probably these two. I'd probably end up going with this one. Because it's a little greener. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So there are so, so many choices. And I love that from size extra small to extra large, all take four skeins of Silk Garden Sock Solo and five skeins of Kid Silk Haze. And you need one more of each for two and three X. So I love that. Yeah, that's um, pretty good. I have a ton of stuff in stock. I will put a link in the description where you can order it. If you have a question and you're just not sure, you know, I love this color, I love that color, you know, do you think they go together? Call me, okay? You can always reach out and you can call me at the store or you can send me an email and I will be happy to put those colors together and send you a photograph. So I think that's really fun. Yay! So, too. so um, Mark your calendar for Monday nights at 7.30, starting the 2nd of October, and we will be live. This one is recorded, but we will be live. And um, yeah, so if you have questions, we're just going to be going through everything from swatching, choosing a size, how to make the increases. Go to Petite Knit and get your pattern for the Terrazzo sweater. Not the Terrazzo slipover, but the Terrazzo sweater. It's got this picture at the front. Absolutely beautiful. I think she is such a great designer. Before we go, I want to talk real quickly, and we'll talk about this at the kickoff. She has some raglan shaping, but this is not a raglan sweater. So I think it's much closer in construction to like a cocoa knits. So if you've, Ooh. right, if you've ever done a cocoa knits, the, um, so she's got this back that, that you cast on. It doesn't start, you know, it doesn't start with the raglan line here. So it's not a true raglan. It's much more like the English tailoring style a la cocoa knits. So I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah. And if you don't want to do the turtleneck because you just don't like stuff up around your neck, I love stuff up around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do a turtleneck and you can make it short sleeves if you want. Just knit from the top down in the round. And I think it's going to be really fast at 18 stitches. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Super good. Okay. I hope to see you then. Thanks so much. Thank you.